The site is located in Bannockburn, central Otago. It sits on the edge of the Kawarau River, below the client's vineyard, and it's the last property before the Kawarau Gorge. The actual site of the house sits within historic mining tailings. There's no vegetation. It's an intense landscape. It's an exposed landscape, and it's a landscape of extremes. The clients were looking for a home that didn't disturb the mining tailings, but still had a connection with the vineyard. They also wanted a house that blended into the landscape, but yet gave them protection from the harsh environment. It's not a house that wants to show off. It's one that wants to be quiet, subtle and calm. It doesn't intend to challenge the landscape, but tries to be part of it. A brief called for materials that were durable, had integrity and aged well. At the entry is a subterranean space, an engineered cave offering samples of the vineyard's delicious Pinot Noir. The owners can engage with the public without inviting them into their home. It's not until you enter the building that you get a sense of location. A variation of courtyards create new exterior views. Once you arrive to the hub of the house, the context of the site is revealed with views to the river and the gorge below. In New Zealand, working in timber is so appropriate, both for the environment and economy, but this site necessitated a substantial material that served to not only create a protective solid mass, but also reflected the site's materiality. The concrete precast panels are, in a way, poured stone, an updated version of the stone used for basic shelter by the miners. The shingle roofscape intended to hide the building from above, creating more mystery and anonymity. The interior palette is subdued and serves as a backdrop for the client's interior choices. A dark float finished concrete floor using Peter Fowles colours was intentionally made to seem hand finished. In New Zealand, unfortunately, we often build for economy with no consideration for the future. We should be designing and building to endure. We are innovators and quick to experiment with new ways of building, and this is what we need to continue. Producing projects that are a unique result of understanding our environment.